Hey guys, so a bit of an unusual video from me uh, this time and this is the ETS2 info display panel that I'm currently creating for ETS2. Now this is the finished unit that you can see in front. Uh, it's got the LCD 16x2 uh, character display and also four LEDs, two red, two green. The two green are obviously left and right indicator or blinkers. The red LEDs are parking brake and low fuel. Now the low fuel and parking brake lights can be customized through the software. Now this software will be on request if you want them to be different but as stock default they will be parking brake and low fuel warning. The 16x2 LCD display is blue on white so it's a blue background with white text. The one that you're currently looking at is a, a green background with black text. This is just the demo version to make sure everything works as it should. So inside this one just a bunch of wires at the moment. I've not really done anything with it as such. Uh, it's just got a breadboard in there and that's about it. But today what I'm going to do is put that out of the way. We're going to actually start from the beginning and it starts life as this an LCD 16x2 character display and you can see this is the uh, blue version and the white text you'll see once it's finished now I've already soldered the uh, cables on just to save a little bit of time and the next part is to mount this onto the Perspex case okay so now that's done I've got the uh, LCD mounted in place on the Perspex. It is actually a black Perspex. The white that you're seeing is just a, a protective cover. And on the back you can see we've just hot glued the LCD in place at the top and at the bottom with a couple of blobs of hot glue. Whilst we've still got the hot glue uh, turned on and warm we need to put the uh, LEDs in place. So there's going to be two green at the bottom, if I just hold them in place, as you can see just there. So I'm going to do that now, I'll join you in a second. Okay, so that's complete. There's the LEDs in place now, there's the two red at the top, two green at the bottom, the LCD is still there, which is good. I'm going to leave the protecting on as well, and you can just see, just hot glued that in place at each side which is what we want so now we've done that all we need to do is solder the uh, resistors onto the ground connections of each set of LEDs wire the positives to each terminal on the LED and then wire it up to the control board so this thing is a little microcontroller this will read the information from Eurotruck and it will output that information onto the uh, LCD display. So that's all this is. Okay, so this next step, all I'm going to be doing is soldering the resistor that you can see just here in the uh, alligator clips. I'm going to solder it to the ground connections of the uh, LEDs. All we need to do now is wire this up to the Arduino. Okay, so this is the Arduino as we talked about before. Uh, what I'm going to be doing now is soldering all the wires, uh, all of these connections, up to the uh, Arduino. 
Okay, so everything's wired up. Everything's wired up at the front on the LCD, the LEDs, everything. And the Arduino is also wired up. All soldered in, all connected. We've got a little potentiometer. This is for the uh, LCD driver. Uh, and that's it. That is the completed unit. All we need to do now is get the rest of the pieces of plastic and put this thing all together. So I've got Euro Truck started and uh, you can see the display is currently turned off. Uh, that's because the engine is turned off. If I turn on the engine you'll see the uh, LCD comes alive. You can also put the parking brake on and also do left indicator and right indicator. Now I can't show you the fuel or anything else because I've not hooked up the steering wheel uh, but if we zoom in you can see there there's the display shows the miles per hour, kilometers per hour, the current gear that is selected and the remaining amount of fuel. Now on screen it does look black but I can guarantee you that it is white. It is a blue background with a white text. And then if we turn the engine off, the LCD goes off. So that is it. All we need to do now is assemble all of the parts from here to make this into a single box and send it off to you guys. But that is it. I'm not going to assemble this one because it's a development one. Um, but yours will be completely built and finished. So thanks for watching guys, that's the end of this little video and uh, I hope to catch you next time.